Hi guys. So I've actually got a bit of a bad back at the moment and I haven't been able to flow as I wanted to. So today's class is going to be slow and nourishing and it's all about making space. It's very much going to be seated. We might gonna get onto all fours in at one point, but um, it's a nourishing practice. So I want you to come and start. Maybe grab a block and sit yourself on a block if that feels good. The class is all about listening, tuning into your body, finding that connection. <sighs> because the question is, what do you need? And this looks different every single day. So the mantra for this class is, what do I need? Not, do, not what do I think I need? Because often our brain takes over. And right now, I really want to get on and do a dynamic practice. But I know I do not need that. It's going to cause me more pain and be not beneficial in the long run. And it really does look different every single day. One day, you could need X. The next day, you need Y. So we're going to start coming into that comfortable seat. Ground down through the sit bones. And lift tall through the crown of your head as you slowly... Gently close your eyes. Bring your hands onto your knees and turn the palms facing up. Fingers curling in naturally. And start to slow down. Feel that grounding through the sit bones. Do a little scan all the way from your toes, through your legs, through your pelvis, up through your belly, your arms all the way through the crown of your head, taking as long as you need, and simply noticing, finding that connection. Which bits are feeling sticky? Which bits need a little bit more TLC? Repeating the mantra, what do I need? And starting to create that space, breathing into the belly, releasing any tension there, releasing any hold. And exhale, let it go through the nose. Just like that again, focusing on the belly, inhale. And release. Now as you inhale, breathe into the belly and send it to the chest. Breathing the ribs frontwards to the sides and backwards. And then exhale again, slowly, mindfully let it go. Each breath creating that little bit more space, that little bit more room in your body. Inhale. And exhale, let it go. And this time, bringing the breath all the way up to the collarbones, broadening through the collarbones. And then release. We so often don't pay attention to our breath. And when we do, maybe we realize that we've been really shallow breathing. So just taking a moment to sit, be still, and tune into the breath can be really beneficial. It starts to trigger our, or activate our parasympathetic nervous system, this state of, or our rest and digest system, where we can start to relax, unwind, de-stress, start to digest our food properly. Continuing to slow each breath down. And this idea of creating space, leaving space for change, change that every day life is going to look a little bit different and having space for that, knowing that that is okay. Creating space to evolve. that you don't know how you're going to feel at any precise moment, that you need to keep an open mind. And creating space in the mind. And sometimes that can simply be, as we're doing right now, by slowing down, taking a moment to find some stillness in the mind. We're going to take two more deep breaths together. Deep inhale. 
Exhale, slowly release. This last time, we're gonna hold it at the top for a count of three. Deep breath in. Hold for three, two, and one. Exhale through the mouth this time, release. Slowly blink the eyes open. You can stay on your block if you want. You can come down onto the floor if that feels better. And just bring your fingertips alongside your body. And let's go. this seated flow is going to be like um, a mindful meditation. So you just connect the movement with your breath. Don't think about it. Just move and breathe. And if it doesn't feel nice what I'm doing, do something different. You know your body best. Yoga should never be painful. So again, just find that grounding through the sit bones. Lift through the crown of the head. Deep breath in. Exhale. Gaze over your right shoulder. Inhale brings you back to center. Exhale, left shoulder. Inhale brings you back to center. Then exhale, drop the chin towards your chest. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, lift the chin. Gently bring the head back, gaze up. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, one more time, right side, gaze. Inhale, through center. Exhale, to the left. Inhale, through center. And then drop it down. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, lift the chin, gently gaze up. And then inhale. Finally, come back to center. So we're just going to flow through some side stretches. Your right hand stays down. Inhale, the left fingers up. And exhale, take a little bend over to the right hand side. Breathe into that left side body. Make space in the ribs. Inhale, brings you back to center. And exhale, take it to the other side. Move with your breath. If you need to go faster, if you need to go slower, that is absolutely fine. Listen in, tune in. Inhaling through center and exhale. Take it over. Inhale, create space, create length. Exhale, over. Maybe your challenge, like me, is slowing down. I love a dynamic practice. I find it really easy to turn off my mind when I'm moving like that. And more hard or harder to turn off, to tune, to cut out all the noise when I move slower. So that is my challenge. But embrace it. Notice when there's resistance. So you're going to place your right hand down on the next time you do so and bring that left arm overhead and hold it here. Reach the left fingertips away from you. Breathe into that left side body. Ground down through the sit bones. Don't let, let that left sit bone lift. Maybe you're up here and that's absolutely fine. Wherever you are, start to circle the arm. It doesn't matter which way, we're gonna do both ways. Imagine you've got pencils on your fingers. Try and bring as much movement into this as possible. Draw the biggest circle you can. Last time, inhale, reach it up and exhale. Take it down, changing direction now. Inhale, sweep it up. Exhale, bring it back. Inhale, sweep. Exhale, last time. Inhale, big sweep. Exhale, bring it down. Then inhale all the way through center. And let's do that on the other side. Right arm comes over. Draw that huge circle. Exhaling down and inhaling up. In the biggest circle you can. And notice how this side might feel a little bit different. Maybe it's a little bit more open. Maybe it's a little bit tighter. Changing direction, inhale, reach it up. And when you find a tighter air in your body, don't dwell on it and worry about it. It's fine, we're all asymmetrical and just that realization is good. It means you can give it the little TLC that it needs. So gently inhale and bring yourself all the way up to center. 
Inhale, bring your left hand onto your right knee. This is one of my favorite seated floats. You might have done this with me before. Your right arm comes behind you. Lift up through the crown of your head and really slowly twist over towards the right. And you want to be mindful that the twist isn't completely in your neck because our neck is able to move the most, has the most rotation. So you want to think about ten sending the twist up like a spiral staircase up your spine. Breathe into it, lift through the crown of the head, creating space in the spine this time, axial extension. And then here, lift the right fingers and reach them behind you. Keep lifting tall through the crown of the head. Take a big breath in. And as you exhale, sweep that arm overhead. Draw a huge circle overhead, as big an arc as you can. Not a circle, an arc. <laughs> And finally, your right hand's going to meet your left. And you're going to bow your head down and take a little rock forwards and back or side to side even. And inhale, come all the way up. Your arms are crossed. Wrap them around each other as many times as you can. Eagle the arms. Inhale, lift the elbows. And exhale, release. Inhale, lift them high. Exhale, bow down. Now you can choose. We're going to hold for a moment. For me, it feels nicer to hold up, but maybe you exhale and hold it down. So pull the shoulder blades away from the spine. Breathe space into the back, into the upper back, into the whole of the back body. Keep lifting through the crown of the head if you're sitting upright like me. Breathing space into the whole back if you're bowing down. Wherever you are, inhale, come up. Release the hands, exhale, then inhale, reach them all the way up, coming into prayer hands, exhale, hands to your heart. Bring your hands to your ears now. Before we move on to the other side, a little cat-cow variation. Inhale, breathe the heart open, lift up. Little arch in the back. Keep hugging navel to spine. Then as you exhale, round through the back. Pull the navel in. Touch the elbows. Inhale, lift up, breathe up. Exhale, elbows touch. Bow in. Last time, inhale, breathe the chest open. Exhale, take it in. Inhale, brings you back to center. Right hand comes onto the left knee. Left fingertips behind you. Reach tall through the crown of the head. Breathe in. Lift up. And exhale. Find that twist. Gently rotating through the whole of the spine. Keeping space. Keeping extending upwards. I feel like my words are losing me today. <laughs> it's very hot here in London. It's going to be 37 degrees today and we're not used to it. So big breath in. Exhale, let it go. As you inhale, reach those left fingers back. Reach, reach, reach. Keep lifting through the crown of the head. And again, drawing that big arc over the top of you. How far can you reach the fingers away? Create that space in the side body. Find length. Then as you exhale, hand comes to knee. Take a little sway from side to side. Release. Come up and wrap the arms around each other. Inhale, lift the elbows. Exhale, bow it down. Two more times. Inhale, breathe up, lift up. Exhale, take it in. Inhale, lift it up. Again, option to stay here like me or to bow down and hold. Taking those deep, nourishing, connected breaths. See if you can breathe into the belly. You blow up the chest like a balloon, broaden through the collarbones. And exhale, let it go. One more big breath here. Then everyone inhale. Let's meet up right. And then you're going to release the hands <laughs> and inhale the arms all the way over. My words are really weird today. I'm really sorry, guys. <laughs> exhale, hands to your heart. Hopefully you know what I mean. Okay, so another variation of cat cow, you're going to bring your hands onto your knees this time and you're going to take some circles. So you can inhale, breathe the chest forward, then exhale, navel to spine, round you back. Inhale, exhale, round it back. One more time, inhale, breathe the chest open. Exhale, take it back. Keep grounding through the collarbones. We're going to change 
through the sit bone, sorry, we're going to change direction. And really notice as you move to the side, that space through the opposite side body. And again on the other side. And then slowly, mindfully, come back to centre. Let's come onto our hands and knees. So roll over the knees and gently bring yourself up into tabletop. If you have a block, just place it to the side and come onto your hands and knees. So we're going to do cat-cow now um, in tabletop pose. And I want you to think about moving the spine like a wave. So we'll do it one way first, and then we'll do it the other way. So what I want you, we're going to come into um, cow pose, so we're arching the spine. But first of all, you're going to initiate the movement from the tailbone. So inhale, lift the tailbone, go all the way along the spine until finally you gaze forward, breathing the heart up. Then again, from the tailbone, coming into cat pose, tuck the tailbone, send the wave all the way through the spine until finally the head comes down. Push through the hands, hug navel to spine. So two more times just like that. Inhale, lift the tailbone. Bring the arch into the lower back, into the mid back. And then lift the gaze. Breathe the heart forward. Exhale, drop the tailbone, start to round the back, hug the navel in, create space through the back body, push the ground away. Last time, inhale, creating this mobility in our spine is so good, it's so important. It can be really hard though, so don't worry if this is completely new and foreign to you. Exhale, tuck the tailbone, Round, 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 round. Send that round through the spine. Push, push, push into the hands. Breathe into the whole of the back body, particularly the space um, above your belly button, so really lower back. Then come back to center, and we're going to do it the opposite way. So we're going to start the movement from the top of the spine, from the cervical spine. So when you're ready, let's do a, a back bend first. So cow, cow pose. Inhale, lift the head. This one I find harder to do, so <laughs> if you're with me, then you'll know. And then finally, come through to the tailbone. Inhale. Then your head is going to drop. Push through the hands, arching the upper or rounding the upper back, sorry. And then slowly sending it all the way to the bottom of the spine. Start to lift the head. Relax or melt the chest down. And then finally, the tailbone starts to lift, breathe in, exhale, drop the head, push into the hands, send that wave all the way to the bottom of the spine, we're going to do one more here guys, inhale, start to lift the head, melt the heart down, breathe the whole spine forward or the chest forward, Reaching forward, breathing in, creating space. Then last time, drop the head. Push into the hands, into the belly. Drop the tailbone, push the ground away. Three, two, and one. Come back to center. Inhale, lift the left arm up to the sky. Open the heart to the left-hand side. Then exhale, thread it through. Inhale, lift it up. Two more times, just like this. Exhale, thread the arm through, gaze to your right. Last time, inhale, lift up, reach up. Exhale, thread it through, come down onto your left cheek if you can. Different options here, you can reach the right fingertips forward, stretching through that right side body. You could maybe tuck it behind, reaching it to your left hip. Whichever one feels better for you. And if you even want a little bit more here, you can lift the right leg high. Ooh, I can't, my plants are there. So whatever you feel like you need to do, breathe here, be here for a moment. Breathe space, find that space. Come back to that mantra, what do I need? And then slowly you're going to inhale and come all the way back up into your table. The other side now, guys, inhale, reach the right arm up. Exhale, thread it through. Inhale, lift up, reach up. Exhale, thread it through. 
Last time, reach the arm up and exhale, thread the arm through, right cheek comes down. Same options available as before. Close your eyes. Little scan of the body, can you melt away any tension that just doesn't need to be there? Finding this balance between effort and ease. Jatirasukha. Next, inhale. You're going to come all the way up. Plant the hands. And then gently bring yourself back to a comfortable seated position. And you're going to bring the soles of your feet together. Hold on to them a little bit like a book. Breathe the chest forward and reach it forward. Let's keep the spine straight here. Breathing the crown of the head forward. Actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change that. If you feel like you need to round, you start to round the head down. But for me, I want to create space there. I really want length in the spine. So breathing space into the hips, breathing length through the spine, taking a moment to breathe. And as you inhale, come all the way up, plant your feet and very gently make your way down onto your back. Before we come into Shavasana, we're going to have a little twist. So link your right leg over your left. Take your knees over to the left side, your hips slightly to the right as your gaze comes to the right. Big breath in, long breath out. Close your eyes if they're not closed already and just start to absorb this slow, mindful, gentle practice. And tune into how you're feeling now compared to how you were 15, 20 minutes or so ago. Inhale, brings you through center. Plant the right foot down. Left foot comes over. Take the knees over to the right. Gaze over to the left. The practice today has been really nourishing on the spine because it's very good to move our spine in all different ways. Flexion and extension and rotation. And to just be really mindful with the movements so you realize, as I was saying, in twists that you're not cranking yourself into them, which we often so do, and me included. So inhale brings you back to center. Hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a really big squeeze. Take a huge breath in. Hold it at the top. Three, two, one. Exhale, let the feet go. Opposite sides of the mat, bring the hands away from the body, fingers curling in naturally. Taking as long as you need in Shavasana. I really hope you've enjoyed this slow practice today. And I really hope to see you on the mat again soon.